Hi everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Nendoroid uh, Seika Ichiji from uh, Boji the Rock. You can see here there in front of the box. We'll go better put it off side real quick. And yep, you know, see the Seika Ichiji right there on the thing. And then you know, it's her name right there as well. And Anaplex, what an interesting Seika right there, 2307. And you know, the big old window, Boji the Rock and Good Smile Company. And all that stuff on top, you have her in a pose right there. On the side, you have a couple poses. On this side, you have a po couple poses. On the bottom, you have a pose. And on the back, you have several poses and some warnings and copyrights. And for ages 15 and up, because this is not for children. And, of course, in the box, you do have the little booklet of instructions for how to use the parts and whatnot, in, you know, both in Japanese and in English, if I can get this open properly. There we go. <laughs> like trying to get, her, get it open and just want it open. Yeah. Pretty straightforward that. Yeah, you know, just how to use different parts. So uh there you go. So Seika, the manager of Starry and uh Nijika's older sister. Gonna bring this down a little bit. And yeah, getting in, uh close, of course. Getting a bit closer. You see, you know, she's got yellow, you know. You know, the blonde hair, the reddish eyes, and of course, the little Dorito on top. You got that. You got the black sh You got the black shirt, the red. Well, it's either bra or undershirt, one of the two. Uh, you got white and black strap pants because, you know, little black shoes and everything. And on the back, you know, I got a hair with a nice little bit of gradient there. And again, just pretty much just black shirts and striped pants. There's nothing really there. Of course, it's on the stand, which, you know, pretty typical Nendoroid stand, including all the hinges and whatnot. And there you go there. So... Yeah, Nendoroid, so posability, you know, there's some posability, but not a whole lot, you know, you actually got the head is on the weird ball joint things so you got left and right, you got the up and down, you kind of get, get waggle if you work for it, because it's the weird change thing. Shoulders can go forward and back, you got the, uh, the bicep swivel there, thanks to the swap ability, there's a wrist swivel, kind of, right there, kind of a more of a forearm swivel, but eh, right there as well, there is a, uh, there's not really a waist swivel because of how it works, like you yeah, because the way she works, she doesn't have a waist swivel. Uh, she does have hips, you know, hip joints, you know, ball jointed, so it's, you know, you got forward and back, and you got, you can twist side to side and uh, do all that stuff if you want. And there's your lot. Not a whole lot, but, you know, it's not, you know, Nendos aren't super posable, but, you know, there's always to some degree of posability. So, yeah, um, there's the posability section. So, yeah, uh, before we get into accessories, here's a couple of comparisons, including, of course, how you why not, here's uh, Bochi herself. Who, you know, Seika has a bit of a soft spot for. What that soft spot means is up to you. Here's a... Uh, Kikuri. You know. You know, Kikuri calls uh, Seika se Senpai. And they may have a bit of... They have a bit of a past together, which, you know, not... Not totally uh, got brought up in the... Uh, anime but definitely seems to be brought up in uh, the Kikuri side series and uh, here's her little new sister Nijika right there so uh, there you go on that front so, yeah a couple accessories she has of course she has the re typical replacement neck joint which you know that's pretty typical for androids anymore um, a couple replacement faces she got a bit more of a smile right there she goes right there's the neutral face that's more of her smile and here's uh yeah, her kind of looking, I'm not sure what kind of face that is, but I guess a little happier in general. She has a little uh, left arm, which is kind of has a little stuffed animal in it, a little panda, because it's a cute. She's got this uh, bent right arm, which has a little juice box in it. She's bent left arm. This has a different hand, you know, kind of a, this little hand right here, which has a little finger kind of out a little bit. And she's got these uh, pair of uh, hands for, you know, crossing, you know, crossing her arms, which I'll show that in a little bit. And uh, she got this special, like, uh, well, bottom half, which is for sitting on the stool she often sits on, which can't sit, sit by itself. Well, it can sometimes, just not exactly, uh, it's a little forward heavy, so it doesn't take much to knock it over without, uh, you know, it being connected to the stand. And of course, swapping faces is pretty straightforward. You can uh, just uh, pop the hair off, yeah. pop the face off, and then, you know. Pop that on. <laughs> Don't put two faces on at once. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you know, do that. And of course, uh, swapping the arms is pretty straightforward. You know, right here at the biceps, we'll need to pop that off and then pop this one on. And uh, again, like a lot of recent Nendoroids, the joints are ridiculously tight. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, as of late, a lot of the Nendoroids have been ridiculously tight joints. 
This one's not too bad, but still, it's a little more difficult to do it without pulling the whole arm off. Yeah, got that. Be straightforward. You also can also have the uh, swap the other arm off if you want. At the bicep, and George tried to put it on without taking out the shoulder, and that's not working. That's the thing. This arm reticular is for kind of, I guess, an invisible countertop. Because, yeah, what you do, of course, yeah. Popping this off, you just got to... They tell you to actually pop the legs off. You don't absolutely have to, but... Actually, I found out actually Megan makes it a little easier. Or more difficult to get grip on this. But, yeah. See, he's got two pegs, which is why he doesn't have a, a waist. He doesn't have a waist joint because they got two pegs. And, yeah, I guess to make this part more secure. And then, yeah, you do that. And, of course, uh, yeah, assuming... Yeah, assuming she's got a countertop of some sort, you know, it's supposed to be like a countertop she like, you know, is leaning on and everything, but well, there is no countertop, so <laughs> I guess she's got a little box or something. So there's that. And of course, let's go off this one with this whole, the whole arm with the shoulder, at the shoulder thing. So she can, you know, well, hey, look, you know, she's kind of cuddling up with her uh, little stuffed animal. What a dork. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, and of course you can do the swapping the uh, for the crossed arms, which is pretty straightforward. You got to get both arms off here, and then you attach the right arm first. Attach the right arm first, and then you attach the uh, left arm. And yeah, it's also there's a peg on this hand, which will go into that hand right there too. So uh, be aware of that before you. And that'll peg in the place right there. Yeah. And there you go. Now she's got her uh, crossed arms like that. So yeah, pretty straightforward that. Uh, not a whole lot of really to uh, say about that. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And there you go. Uh, there's a... Seika. And also because the thing is because with her and Nijika have the same exact, you know, eye color and uh, hair color, you can take like, say, one of Nijika's uh, faces and put on Seika and it still works. Particularly say, like, I don't know, face like this, which, you know, irritated at Rio because, well, yeah, I think they're compatible. They should be compatible. I believe they're compatible. Are they not compatible? Do they intentionally mold them in such a way they're not quite compatible with each other? Because that would be low. I think they might have intentionally oh there we go it's just tight as heck but it's doable it feels like yeah hey look <laughs> a little tight but it works i'm just a little worried about it because it almost feels like they they like molded them differently just so they won't work properly with each other too now i'm kind of have to look do they mold these slightly differently oh look Looks like they, in fact, did. That's well, maybe. No, nah, not really. Actually, no. These are well, they're slightly different. Yeah, there's definitely different molding there. I can see that. But even still, it should still be largely compatible. That's weird. Why do they do that? Why can't they just make these things more universal? <laughs> That's why I want to know. Why do they keep making special molding for each one? Yeah, uh, that's anyway, Johnny. It's somewhat compatible. It's a little, I kind of almost have to force it, but it does work. So, uh, yeah, that's Seika. Doesn't come with a whole lot, but, you know, a decent amount. I'm hoping they do PA on at some point. You know, they've done two of the three adults, <laughs> the major adults in the series, so why not PA on? Get that all done. But yeah, as a whole, she's pretty good. Um, not, she's not too expensive either. Again, it cost me about 50 bucks, I think, again, with shipping from Japan. So, not too bad for an Android. 
not a whole lot of accessories, but a decent amount. I wish there was like a countertop, considering they have that whole the countertop leaning arm. I wish there was kind of something, just a little, like something that make be pegs into the uh, stand so she can, you know, rest her arm on it. But eh, not the end of the world. You can have a little like one of those cubes or whatever they have. So that's my only real complaint, honestly. But other than that, and maybe the fact it's not fully technically cross compatible with the Nijika faces, which it should be considering, you know, there's no reason for them to be molded different, honestly. But beyond that, um, decent. Nothing amazing, but decent. And again, if you're super into Bochi, you might want to go ahead and pick her up because, you know, at this point, you know, you're already this, you know, like probably five uh, Nendos in. You're already five Nendos in at least. So, hey, why not get a sixth and then, well, seventh because there's another Bochi coming. I'm just hoping for PA son. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's good. Not a most, again, nothing spectacular, but a pretty decent, you know, DJ decent, uh, recommend, I would say very much, if you just really like Seika, or you just are really into Bochi the Rock as a whole, there you go. So, uh, that's it for this review, I hope you found it informative and entertaining, leave a comment, subscribe, check out my social media, it's down in the description, and at the end of the video, check out my coffee and my Patreon, and I shall see you next time with another video review.